Welcome to our lecture online and now let's review the bulk modulus, the third of the three. And with the bulk modulus usually you apply pressure on an object or you can think of being inside a liquid and what is the pressure on the liquid due to the well whatever forces are acting upon it. Essentially the bulk modulus is written the same way, it's the ratio of the stress over the strain. Typically the stress instead of writing force over, over area we write it in terms of pressure, especially if it's a gas or a liquid that's pushing on the object. And then the strain is given as the change in the volume over the original volume and typically we look for the ratio, we look for what is the fractional change in the volume relative to the original volume. So we don't need to know the original volume, it's simply a fractional change. So then if we solve that equation for the fractional change in the volume, then it simply becomes the ratio of the pressure divided by the bulk modulus. So if the pressure is given and the bulk modulus is given, you plug, plug in the numbers and you end up with a number. And if we convert that to a percentage, notice that under one atmosphere of pressure, the change in volume, the fractional change in volume is very, very tiny. Let's say you have 10 atmospheres, it then would be 0.046%, 100 atmospheres would be almost a half a percent. So it would require quite a bit of pressure to see any small appreciable change in the fractional volume. So that is how it's done, it's as simple as that. And that's how we deal with the bulk modulus.